Tell you what, it's been great weather to shoot a movie or any other outdoor activity. Yeah, been been nice. Lucked out today. That's yes, for indeed. Sure, we mm -hmm. are loving this fall field, Kate. But you're tracking some rain for the actual start of fall later this week. That is correct. Fall officially begins on Wednesday, 3:20 p.m. That is the autumnal equinox. Today there was a little fall feel in the air. It's a little easier to get out of bed on a Monday when the sun is shining so brightly and there's that beautiful breeze outside. But our rain chances are going to increase a little bit each day this work week. Here's a live look outside at Center City, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Of course, there's the Franklin Institute there. This is our camera at the Parkway Central branch of the Free Library of Philadelphia. It's quiet outside tonight. There's a beautiful full moon. Temperatures are in the mid to low 60s now. 60 in Trenton, 63 degrees in Allentown, 56 in Mount Pocono, and 65 in Philadelphia. Dew points are still comfy, although they are rising a little bit from where they were yesterday, but dew points still in the 50s, which means it is still pretty pleasant out there humidity wise. Those dew points will creep up, though, as our next front approaches. So quiet for now, but here's a cold front that's going to be moving slowly, slowly into our area over the next few days. It is going to weaken as the system begins to lift a little bit. So I don't expect much severe weather as this comes through, but a few thunderstorms are possible. What's happening though is out ahead of this front, we're pulling in all this moisture from the Atlantic Ocean, from the Gulf of Mexico, and all of these showers will start to pop up even starting tomorrow, but especially Wednesday. The actual front though doesn't come through until likely later Thursday night. So tonight is dry, 62 degrees, partly cloudy, quiet, a beautiful view of that full moon. Tomorrow, not a bad day. A few more clouds, we'll call it partly sunny, 77 degrees, and a couple of spotty sprinkles here and there, only about a 10 to 15 percent chance of rain, depending on your location. 34 percent chance on Wednesday, and then our rain chances increase Thursday into Friday. So it's an active start to autumn. Rounds of rain and thunderstorms starting late Wednesday, right into at least early Early Friday. Now, there will be a period of heavier rain and perhaps some rumbles of thunder, but the timing of that heaviest rain is still in question. It's looking like it could be any time from Thursday afternoon to Friday morning, depending on how quickly that front moves in. But by Friday evening at the latest, we will dry out and it will be cool and crisp as we head into the upcoming weekend. So, again, you can see the scattered showers out ahead of this front. This is Thursday morning. The heaviest rain still off to the west. This will slowly move in. You can see the rain almost streaming south. South to north here. Thursday night into Friday morning, that looks like the heaviest. And then throughout the day on Friday, it will start to dry out. High pressure builds in. And autumn, the feel of autumn, will be in the air. The official arrival, again, the autumnal equinox, September 22nd, that's Wednesday at 3. 20 p.m. And if you're looking for some cool, crisp fall air, take a look at the end of the week and the weekend. A spotty sprinkle tomorrow, scattered showers and a thunderstorm Wednesday. Then the temperature starts to drop. Some heavy rain possible Thursday night into Friday morning. But then Friday night, we're down to the 50s. Saturday, 75 and sunny with a nice cool breeze. Sunday and Monday looking fantastic as well. And Yuki, as of now, that looks to kick off a stretch of beautiful fall days right into next week. Can't wait. Mm. Thank you, Kate.